Hey guys, this is Andrew Grove, aka this passing for Recovers.com, and today I'm doing a leak finder with Mr. Patrick. So table three, we face a, a raise from the small blind, we call in the big blind, pretty standard, and call in the flop too. It's like, do you have a range? Do you have a raising range on that board? I feel like I probably don't. I feel like I I don't think maybe like a naked three. Mm -hmm. No, I I don't think there is. I I can't think of any any hands that I'd want to raise. Yeah, I don't think so either. Because the only like if you're thinking about bluff hands, like ten x is like showdown value, right? Like the kind of hand you have, and also to like you can peel flush draws and like even if you wanted to like peel like a backdoor hand like queen jack nine, you can I mean like turns pretty well, and you could like call again on turns. Like there's nothing and really. Even then and if you have a three, I mean, if he's betting into you, kind of, you can probably just raise turn then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like he does check turn though. I don't remember. I mean, he's he's it's like a two week ago. I do. I do remember, but I'm not gonna spill it. <laughs> okay. This is all pretty fresh to me still. <laughs> now he check called turn on table one. Yeah, I don't think you can die, but river. It's not gonna call too much worse. So I feel like he has like nines here. Nines, eights, yeah. Yeah. As a, I, I guess he, he probably could have barreled that hand, but, you know, whatever. Um, oh, yeah, so I do remember this hand on table four. Yeah, I just, I, I went over the footage yesterday, so I, this, a lot of it's still fresh in my mind. Yeah. If you're thinking about developing range, raising ranges here, do you have one on this board? Um, I think... Probably sets, right? I, I, I think if I had, like, yeah, sets, especially if I had, like, Jack-Jack 4X or, like, Jack-Jack 2X where, like, I'm, there's less pair, pair outs or, like, any any set where, like, I'm blocking a pair or, like, a paired board out, I'd probably raise here uh -huh. a lot of the time. And I think maybe maybe some strong wraps without a flush draw. Okay. Maybe, like, Ace-3-5-6 ace or, like, 3-5-6. You mean, did you say without or with a flush draw? Uh, with, with flush draw. Sorry, did I say without? I I I think so. Maybe I maybe I'm hearing things. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just making sure. Yeah, we're not raising. I probably said with that. Without a flush draw. Okay, cool. And I think this hand would be pretty good. This is kind of like you could say almost a bluff, but it's a really good semi bluff. And the reason it's good is because you have the nut flush draw in your hand, so it like blocks the hands that either one of them would uh, continue with. So like it blocks like aces with nut flush draw, ace jack of hearts, stuff like that. Um, so there would be a little less. They have to be a little cautious with um, like queens with hearts and kings with hearts, for example. Yeah. So that's that's good going for. And you also also too you have the three and the five as decent now. And also too if they if they get in like you know jack with a flush draw or kings with a flush draw, then your ace isn't out. So this hand has a surprisingly a lot of equity, even versus obviously like if you get in here, it's versus a, a better made hand almost always. Would I be able to ever call a three bet like three bet shove if I like say like I repopped here to like six or seven dollars no i don't think i would be able to like five or six dollars would i have to fold to a three bet no for sure i think i think you can call i would just i would probably call and call all like uh non-pairing turns um to make sure you're not paying off a, a boat your equity is so massive here and i think maybe before the next video we can we can look um in odds or call to see like your equity here and just a, a simple calculation versus like like it's surprising that you're in the 40 percent for sure something like that even versus set, you have a lot of equity. Yeah, and I think I think spots like these are like the spots that I have the most trouble with. Like I won't know if I'm supposed to be getting it in with like nut flush draws and like other nut draws. Yeah, and some of the equity, um, what, what makes it a lot more profitable as as opposed to calling, is like you you keep the small bond in as well. So he could like, you know, on turns people are gonna play have to play more straightforwardly, and also too. Um, you know, any turn higher than a seven, or like a seven or higher, I would say you kind of have a little bit of difficulty there. Um, well, I guess you you have a, you have a gut shot there again on a or like a double gut shot there on a on a seven. But um, people bet again, then it's kind of your equity's not as good, and you know your range is sort of capped now at this point. Um, so it gets kind of difficult. And again, you'd be squeezed on the turn if it went three way. Um, Snort would bet, and then you would, wouldn't know what uh, the small blind would do. So that's something to consider.
Um, but yeah, here you could probably make it like no more than five dollars, and it'd be a good raise, I think. Okay. Trying to go too big with it, but yeah, it worked pretty well, I think. 